everyone, I am Sarah with Taste Guru. I'm here with um, Erica from Celiac and the Beast, and we are at uh, Natural Products Expo West. It is day two for me, day... I'm sorry, I don't even know. Day three for you? I don't... I, I've been here for a really long time, and I clearly need more coffee. There are a lot of new products here at Expo West. As you can see, there's approximately one bazillion people that are here. People are fighting in the aisles just to get samples, to meet new vendors. I mean, it's literally the craziest event all year that I go to. Um, and it's probably one of the best, though, because we get to see new products before they're even put on shelves. So we literally get to be the first ones to taste something new. Um, so Dr. McDougall's has a whole new line of Asian soups. There's four new flavors and they're not available in stores yet, but they're super tasty and um, high tell me off, yummy. And then we also found peeled snacks, which we think are super tasty and um, nice and fresh and fruity. What'd you find? Uh, oh my gosh, I have found so much only because I was here Thursday as well, so I got to like really get into some new products. Um, I'm standing here with coffee and my whole me bar. Um, they're a great new company. Um, this is made with dates, eggs, pecans, cocoa, coconut oil, and espresso, which is why it's called the Wake Me Bar. Oh, awesome. Cow and espresso. Um, so it's dairy free, gluten free, grain free, which is awesome. We're seeing a lot of grain free products in Expo 4. You may know from like the paleo movement, a lot of people are going grain free, but also a lot of celiacs are going grain free as well because they feel like it's easier just to avoid all grains, which thumbs up, not me, but I also appreciate grain free fruit. Another great grain free brand that I know you know is Capello's. It's fantastic. They are sampling like whole raw chunks of their vegan, uh, like paleo form of, of coquito. Um, and you're, I'm just like, I'm eating raw coquito. This is the best day of my life, right? There's also someone new on the expo floor, um, and you can see it on Celiac and the Beast. There is a cricket vendor who's making bars made out of ground crickets because it's a sustainable protein. Interesting. Way cool, very interesting. But also there's there's new flavors from our favorites, like Benitos are coming up with new bean pops. Yep. So like an alternative to Cheetos, they've got like a hot lime flavor and a white cheddar flavor. And then Beanfield's another great brand um, that I actually believe I discovered from a Taste of Fruit box. Um, and they've got the new ranch flavor, which is also vegan, and it's amazing. <laughs> it's seriously so good. It's like one of my favorite new products. Um, there's a cashew ice cream that's out Ooh. there. So if you are nut friendly, obviously, but not they're dairy free. So yeah, I mean, like lots of really cool new products, new vendors like Small Me, you know, that are new to us. Um, launching really cool products that are you know, certified gluten free, which is always good to see. For also, some of our favorite vendors are here launching new products, trying to get distribution for it, alerting the press, you know, probably three to six months before the average consumer can get it, which is way cool because that means we get to try it before you guys and tell you thumbs up or thumbs down. Awesome. awesome. Thanks for joining us. See you next time.